Hello everyone, Frank Tesla here, and this is the beginning of a brand new <laughs> series that I just created on my own uh, in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and I call it True Survival Mode. Uh, it's kind of, it's almost like Ghost Mode from Ghost Recon Wildlands, but not exactly. I put a very survival touch to it. Breakpoint does not have a really immersive survival mode yet. And uh, once it does come out, I'll probably transfer, you know, this series into that, depending on how well it is. But anyways, this is my first character. His name is... His name is Jones. And I went ahead and changed his outfit. And, um... So, I'm not going to be able to change my character's outfit or his lowdown unless I'm at a campsite. And I'm going to go ahead and list all the roles for this um, survival mode in the description of every single one of these videos. But I can't change this outfit unless I am at a campsite. But this, in the very beginning, when you, you, know, you start here, this is the only time I can change the character's outfit without being at a campsite. And the only reason for that is because I, I want every character I create uh, to kind of be unique. So right here, I kind of go ahead and change their outfit to kind of be, you know, with their own style or whatever. But yeah, um, this is what he looks like. His face, his eye color, and his hair color, and facial details, I cannot change at all. But his face paint, his hairstyle, and his beard, I can change at a campsite. Um, I can't change my clothing unless I'm at a campsite. I can't uh, change my loadout unless I'm at a campsite and um, so on and so forth and also I can only carry one primary I'm restricting myself to only carrying one primary I cannot use the um, I cannot use blueprints all the weapons I use have to be looted I'm not doing any main missions no faction missions no side missions I am literally just trying to play to survive and also just to show you and I will show this at the beginning of every video is uh I'm playing no HUD on extreme difficulty so that way y'all know I'm not lying but yeah I'm just trying to survive that's all uh, I cannot fast travel I cannot spawn in vehicles when I am at a campsite uh, I can't use Maria's shop to buy gadgets I can only uh, loot those. So if I don't have any gadgets, then woof. I guess, you know, why did you just climb that? And then I guess, uh, I'm just shit out of luck. Uh, the only things I can buy from Maria's shop is uh, cosmetic items and, uh, weapon attachments that you can't find in the world because, I mean, there's no other way for me to get them. Was anyone even in there? If there was, they ain't anymore. <laughs> That's messed up, man. Damn. But yeah, uh, I think I think uh, a lot of y'all's really going to enjoy this series. <laughs> and uh, I'm not doing this mission. I'm just coming up here to loot this weapon because I know there's a weapon here. And. Uh, So technically right here, since I literally pick up a weapon, this is the only time uh, you can actually equip it. Because my character just picked it up. But now, I cannot switch my weapons. If I pick up another primary, Shit. I can't... My soldiers. Well, thanks for interrupting me. I can't, uh, I can't change my weapons unless I'm at a campsite. I can't use my night vision, even if I have the perk, I can't use my night vision unless I actually have, like, uh, a helmet with uh, night vision goggles attached to it. So yeah, this is, uh, I'm kind of nervous, not exactly about the gameplay, but a little bit about my commentary, because this is not like a stream. Uh, but my videos, I will not edit these, I will not cut these. I'm not even sure how long these will be. 
I forgot there's a uh, box in here I can loot. Yeah, it's right here. For a second, I was like, is it right there? Not okay with the detail, man. Searching through dead bodies when we know like no one survived. Shit's gonna give me nightmares. Maybe. I don't have a laser sure. sight, so I'm gonna have to aim it's down my. We bring someone back right alive. Whatever that is, I can equip it whenever I get to a campsite. But like, yeah, everything that I have is just default. This is literally the only thing I've equipped, and other than the outfit. And that's pretty much the kind of, not exactly really, the outfit is pretty much to give you a head start, you know, on your character, you know, unique type of look. Of course, I can change this outfit later at a campsite, but the weapon is pretty much kind of give you a little bit of a head start so you're not running around with just the pistol. Because like I said, you know, you do open up that first box, you pull on a weapon, reality, you know, your character can pick it up. But if you open up a second box and it's another weapon, you know, you can't just, I feel like you can't just put this one down and take that one. Unless, like, I picked it up. Like, if I picked it up, and then I switched it, and then I immediately dismantled this one. I feel like that would probably be the only way to actually get rid of that weapon. As if, you know, your character dropped it, laid it down. So, I mean, technically, you can't drop weapons, so the only solution I have is dismantling it. But yeah, the rest of the, the rules for this uh, true survival mode that I've come up with, uh, it's in the description. Cannot fast travel, cannot spawn in vehicles. I'm sure I've already said that. I'm not even sure where I'm going. Um, yeah, that's something else. I can't, um, I didn't put this in the rules when I posted this on my uh, YouTube's community spot section. But another one was like, I can't open up my tech map unless I'm at a campsite. Now, um, of course, that rule may change. A lot of these rules may change or be adjusted. Like I've said earlier, this is first time doing this. If any of you guys have any suggestions on like any uh, rules or something like that, I will take it into consideration. Post it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. You know, hey, you know, maybe this would be a good idea, or hey, you know, don't do this, whatever, whatever. But, uh, okay, you know, I take that into consideration. I'll think about it. Also, even though eating in this game doesn't really matter, one of the rules is your character has to eat. So, it makes it, you know, kind of important. Hey, you see a boar, you see a deer, you see a bird or whatever, go ahead and, you know, take one or two of them down. Because for me, that would make sense. Like when you go to a campsite and then you eat that meat, to me, it makes sense. Hey, you know, you did kill a deer, you did kill a boar, it makes sense. But honestly, since uh, I'm playing like no fast travel, no mini map, no HUD, extreme difficulty, which I normally play like that anyways, but you know, the whole no fast travel, no map, I think that's really going to get me. Uh, other than also <laughs> the uh, really hard roll that I put on myself, no, uh, I can take that guy out, those two drones are really going to matter. But it's the whole, uh, not using a blueprint to like, hey, I can drive that bike. <laughs> what am I saying about blueprint? Oh, yeah. Because I like to get weapons that have like a 20 or 30% mobility, and I don't have that. So I'm just going to have to hope my luck is uh, on my side. It'd be cool if I take the fishing pole and go fishing. It'd be cool if I could eat some of that meat. Yeah, so there's a bike here. I'm gonna remember that. Oh, so there's two guys here. Okay. What do you mean? I didn't know Ballard was missing. What the yeah, so these drones ain't big deal. I'm gonna take them down so I can scavenge their parts. Thank you. 
gunshots over there. Anything here? Any gadgets or anything? Take these flowers. I'd probably shouldn't come over here to this firefight. I am, uh, you know, I'm freaking stupid because I'm, you know, I started this new character and everything while the Terminator event's still going on, so I'm just hoping, you know, it's not a random Terminator just spawned in over here, but I don't think so. Oh, hey, here, helicopter. Good thing I got a gift. Oh, man, it's not working. Sometimes these bushes, man, they just don't work. I kind of want to see what's going on over here. The, the action has ended. Let's see one guy. Looks like he's aiming that way. I'm not sure who he was fighting. I hear that drone. Yeah, screw that guy. He's probably not going to have anything interesting. I can take this down, it might have something useful. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what uh, these drones carry. Um, I, n I really never really shoot these down. Because, you know, well, my main... My main character, I normally always have what I need, so. Uh, but since I'm playing, you know, this really restrictive survival mode, I gotta scavenge what I can. Obviously, I'm not. I don't think I got anything from it. Just a waste of ammo. I'm gonna come up here and grab this bike. Oh, that's something else I forgot to put in the list of rules. Uh, I can't go to Aeron. Aeron. God, I can I can't say that. Anyways, I can't go there. Uh because like I said, I'm not doing the main missions. You know, my character, my ghost, helicopter crash, whatever, I'm just on this island that I don't know. Surrounded by enemies. And I'm just like, I need to survive. I need to stay hidden. Kill who I need to. Whatever, whatever. But I'm gonna take this bike. It would be cool if, like, if you found, like, a house like this, you can make it, like, a home base. Seems like a pretty decent home base to start out. Anyways, I'm gonna take this bike. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go, to go though. Oh, my goodness. This looks like a checkpoint. You can probably take it out. I am pretty good at... Stealth, but I don't know. In case I did get into a firefight, I don't know if I uh, am well equipped. Now, the only thing about driving a vehicle like this is enemies on the road will see you. Now, if I could, I honestly should try to take this convoy down so I can get whatever's in that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, honestly, it would probably be a good idea <laughs> to either hook it on foot or if you do tr uh, use a vehicle, stay off the main roads. Unless you just absolutely have to use it. Nah, I don't want to go that way. I feel like they're just taking me to where I spawn. Oh my god, they're following me. Is that the same convoy or is that a different convoy? Are they still ch oh, they're still following me. I need to put some heavy distance between me and them. Good thing I'm on a bike. As long as no train comes out of nowhere. 
Oh my god, I hear a train. Wait, no, maybe that's a drone. Pink tells me sell, sell the same. Oh, my goodness. oh, whoa, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. <sighs> so I really need to try to go. Oh my gosh, I am going to die from a motorcycle wreck. And I hope not. Not gonna rip uh, wood because I do ride a motorcycle in real life. Oh, just saying that, you know, in game doesn't juice me. Okay, so I need to figure out where I am. I played this game so much, so some of these places here, I can see the place, like, oh, I know this place, but just traveling like this, I don't know where I am. Which is honestly still pretty cool. It's really unique. I gotta get off the road, to be honest. I don't do anything for me but cause trouble. And it's raining, so the wet roads is not very nice to motorcycles. Trust me, I know this from actual personal experience. That's a those are drones. I'm not equipped for that. But yeah, I'm not sure if I said this, but if I die, if this character dies, then I don't get to just respawn and start over. I have to create a whole new character from start. Like I said, it's almost like ghost mode from uh, Wildlands. Oh my god. As long as these mother creatures don't kill me, that should be good. This is, this is what I'm saying. I need to get off the road. Ubisoft really needs to figure out a, uh, a better system for traveling on the road because you get close to it, you know what I mean? They just automatically know it's you. Even if you're in an enemy vehicle. Yeah, I'm gonna come over here. Not 100% sure where I am. I'm come over here, get off the road. Maybe they don't follow me. What is this place? I'm not sure. I will say one thing: playing like this will most definitely get you. Uh, to really appreciate the graphics and the uh, environment that they created. Oh my gosh. I'm on a motorcycle. Sport bike to be exact. Almost. Looks like a, honestly looks like a sport slash tour bike. And I'm on the mud. Trust me, this is not the terrain this bike was meant for. You know, I'm just gonna I'm going to get off the bike. This is not going well for me. Maybe if I was in like a four-door vehicle, truck, car, whatever, it'd be a little better. I would have some protection. Even though the bike is faster, but still, I didn't want to drive around on a motorcycle for 30 minutes. That's not my plan. But I mean, since I can't spawn in vehicles, I kind of like the idea of keeping a motorcycle. I mean, like I said, I do ride a motorcycle in reality, so I'll, I do love motorcycles. It looks like there's three guys up here. Probably take, I'd probably take these guys out and get whatever loot they have. Oh, God. My guy just threw his arm up because of that rock. Messed up my aim. I'm not sure what they've given me, but I would take it. Now, do I start off with... no. Oh, I guess the grenade just automatically went to my, uh, gadget list. Oh, man. I hear a, uh, drone above me. This is really fun. <laughs> I mean, it, it's different, you know? It's almost like playing a military-style survival game. As long as you avoid, like, what the game was made for, like, the missions and stuff. Excuse me. As long as no bugs get me killed, then maybe I won't get pissed off. In reality, I should probably find a campsite. Hmm. I see a campsite way up there. Uh, 
Looks like I see one over there in that direction. These trees are kind of blocking my sight line from that way. I wish I had a compass. I know you have a compass on the minimap, but I don't want the minimap on, so it's kind of pointless. While lens, you could at least turn the compass on and it's on like the uh, top of the screen. If I could at least have that on without like a mini map, then I would, you know, I would turn the compass on. But that is not a feature in this game. Maybe uh, whenever they add the real immersive experience or immersive mode or whatever they're talking about. I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be. But I am really intrigued by it. Like I said, whenever they're in most of mode or like I said, whatever the hell it is, once that like releases and like it kind of goes well with this series that I'm trying to do, then I'll just pretty much implement my series into that and still follow my own rules if the game mode doesn't already do it. Like this place could be like a safe house. Obviously it's like a, it is a safe house, but like I can't like rest here. I can't sleep here, but it would be cool if you could do stuff like that. But there's a jeep here. I'm not sure what I've been grabbing. Go ahead and equip that. I guess I could take the jeep. I think my goal is to... Unless I find one closer to me. Which I'm not sure if that one's closer or not. I think my goal for this video... I know it's almost a 30 minute long video already. But I think the goal for this video is to make it to that campsite. I would take the Jeep. I would. But I feel like I've already wasted enough time with this video on a vehicle. So I'm just going to hoof it. Try not to run into any uh, wolves or anything. Now, I did kill two boar. So I do have some meat that I can eat. Oh, I think there's another one. That would be, I think if I kill this boar, that should be enough meat. Wherever the hell it went. Hello? I hear it, but I don't see it. It's in the grass. Got it. I saw it the whole time. I was just trying to see if you saw it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I really didn't see it. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, playing like this, y'all need to give it a shot or something. It's really making my eyes open to the map, you know, the how everything is. That is an enemy vehicle. I guess I could take them down, but what's the point? They have a freaking Gatlin gun. And all I have is a 416. No point on trying to take them down. I'm not equipped for that. Even though my character is like technically wearing like a, a vest. But also technically the loadout. Wait, I think. I just want to look. Yeah. So technically he does have a vest on. But it's like a level one. Is that another freaking helicopter? I swear they need to figure these uh, freaking uh, spawns out. I swear something spawns like every... I don't know, 30 seconds, maybe every minute. I don't even see it. Oh, wow. I can't wait until I have a helicopter. <laughs> can't wait to jump out of the helicopter. <laughs> uh, there's another four, but I've already killed three. I don't think I need another one right now. My character is in a combat ready stance, so there must be enemies close by somewhere. I need to keep my eyes on that smoke wherever. Oh. Let's see, what is that? Two? Three hostiles? I only have eyes on two. Three, if you count the boar. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. It's already just standing there. I really want to try to make a roll to, you know, just because I shoot one bullet, 
and I'm not in a battle, you know, not, you know, don't reload. Because, you know, ghost mode and Wildlands, you know, you shot one bullet and then you reloaded. Oh my god, my god's not crouching. Then uh, you lost whatever extra ammo you had in that previous clip. And even though, you know, technically this game doesn't do that yet, I still uh, want to kind of act like that. Okay, so I can kill these guys pretty easily. It's not going to be an issue. Drop the wing for me. I guess so. Where's that campsite at? I know it's this way. It's this north. I feel like this way's north, but I think that's west. North. Maybe that's north. Gosh. I know how to read a compass. I know which way is north and west, but for some reason I just can't figure it out right now. Cause some, uh, sometimes the sunlight, like the lighting in this game, like when it's evening, depending on where you are, sometimes evening looks like morning. So I can't tell if the sun's going up or it's going down. So that, that campsite is like way up there. That one is just like, you know, it's not as high up. So in reality, I think that one would be the best one. Now, I could probably go through this base and take it down, but I feel like right now, since my character, even though, you know, he's got bandages and, you know, the game doesn't register my character hurt, he still has, like, three bandages. I mean, he was just in a freaking helicopter crash. So, to me, I'm, you know, pretending that, you know, he, he, he's injured. He needs to get to a campsite, and, you know, he needs to rest. So... That is what I'm trying to do. Also, I put a scar on his left eye. That's why he's wearing an eye patch. So this character would never remove that eye patch. Of course, he may cut his hair. He may cut his beard. But the eye patch will never be removed from this character. That is a story for another time on how he lost his left eye. I mean, look, he has gray hair, all right? He's an old guy. He's seen some shit. And then he was in a helicopter crash. I love how enemies don't even care about animals. Let me get in this bush first. And there we go, I'm freaking reloaded again. I need to stop doing that. I need to break myself from that. I think the next episode I'm going to try to uh, take down a base and loot whatever goodies they have. Ooh. Another helicopter. What was that? Is that a minute? Is that two minutes? Don't even see it. There it is. It's probably the same one that passed by earlier because it went that way. And that one was going that way. So if these people up here just murdered people. <laughs> I was not able to help them because there was an annoying helicopter flying over. I hear some drones to my left. Get in the bush. C2, there may be someone on the other side of that jeep. There's a vehicle approaching. I'm not sure if it's going to be heading this way or the opposite way, but I think I can take these guys out. The drone can, the drone can just, uh, I think they might have taken a left. No, nah, they came this way. Trying to let them pass just in case. I don't want that drone to alert them. Where's that campsite at? Okay, it's right over there. <laughs> I 
And by the way, this 416 came with a red dot. I did not put it on there. It came with it. <laughs> Hello, do you have anything? Is that ammo? Oh, thank goodness. I keep wasting them on boar. <gasps> deer. Even though I already... Did, oh, I thought that deer fell. I do like me some good deer meat. Probably shouldn't shoot it in its butthole, but... Whatever. Even though, realistically, I wouldn't shoot a deer in its butthole, but this is a game. Even though I am trying to play it realistically. Kind of. I'll take your meat and your antlers. So, okay, that campsite's right up there. I heard some gunshots. Yeah, I don't know. I don't need no more boar meat. I wonder why this Connex is out here. I don't know if there's going to be any loot next to it. Yeah, there's a chest here. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's a goat. I don't know. I guess it's because I just glanced at it. I thought it was a boar. But no. Well, it probably wasn't. I don't know. I kind of still only got a glance at it. It was either a goat or a, uh, a ram. Do they even have rams in this game, or are they just goats? I don't know. So there's another campsite that way, but I'm already pretty close to this one? Where did it go? Does the smoke disappear? I think the smoke disappears when you get close enough to it. I've never actually paid attention to that. So I'm assuming the campsite is around here somewhere. It'd be interesting. Okay, it's right there. I'll see it. Looks like there's a barn up here. Ooh. I need to get out of the way so they don't see me. Oh, they already passed. Good, 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 good. Yeah, me. Not sure if this is a abandoned place or a safe house, but since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and check it for any loot. Gosh, I missed my 30% mobility. I'm going so slow. Just be careful with sliding. Make sure I don't run out of stamina and break my arm. Oh, there's some wolves. Oh. oh. I'm getting stuck on the wrong freaking wall. So I'm assuming there's... I only saw two, but I'm assuming there's three. There's normally always three. Poker chips. This looks like a old saloon. Or bar. Whichever one you want to call it. My hair has went to ultra instinct. Oh man. Nothing out here. I think they're coming this way. It's gonna suck if I die like immediately. <laughs> I hear them out there. But I don't see them. Get off of the chair so I can see. Yeah, I think they're on the other side of that hill. See, it would be a little bit more immersive if I could actually take things. Like, oh, this book, I'm gonna take it so I can build a fire. Oh, this liquor, I'm gonna take it so I can get drunk and forget about my miseries. Can I climb up there? No. Probably get a better view. Can I climb? I feel like I could climb this, but no. Oh, let me take that that wood so I can build a fire. Oh, another another freaking drone. Lay down. Okay. Hopefully, it doesn't pick up my freaking ultra instinct hair. Hello. Hello there. 
freaking Star Wars when you're playing and watching that way too much lately. It kind of sucks when it's like right above you because it's it's like the ca you know the camera doesn't go directly above you so you can't really see it unless you hold Y but sometimes that doesn't even work. Anyways, let's move on. Try to get to that campsite. Rest a bit. In reality, I should probably take care of these wolves so they don't come stumbling over to my uh, campsite while I'm taking a piss. I don't think they can see me. I think I only see two, to be honest. Where's that campsite at? I hope that's it right there, because if it's up there, I don't see it. I think wolves normally drop decent loot, if they do drop loot. Okay, so I see two. It might just be two. Let me get right here. No, that's three. No contact here. Uh. Oh, I missed my explosive perk. 60% uh, throw range. I think I'll just leave them be. Wait, is that it? Is that the one I've been going to? There's no way. I'm gonna go ahead and get over here so they don't see me. Wolves have a very good eyesight, by the way. In case you did not know that. See, that one, mm, I'm not sure. Because I thought the one I was heading to was up here. And I think I am right. I think once you get close enough to it, you know, you don't see the smoke anymore. So if that's the case, this isn't it, is it? No. Well, I heard some cough. Oh, goodness. I think that campsite, if it is up here, should be somewhere around here. I should take these guys out, to be honest. But I don't know if they're just walking around in circles or what. I really hope that campsite I saw over there is not the one I've been chasing. Because I swear it looked... Yeah, they're just walking around in circles. So I'm going to have to take them out if I want to get up. Because their circle is really small. Maybe <coughs> throw a grenade. Sounds good to me. As long as it doesn't alert the wolves over here. And maybe if I shoot. Whoa! Nope. Get ready, we got contact! Uh. Contact, we got company! Uh. Uh. <laughs> You took so many shots. I was trying to do my little trick where you shoot the ground and they kind of like turn to it. But I think the, the shot was too close to their feet. That's the tricky thing. You can't be too far from them because if you shoot too far from them, then they won't turn. But if you shoot too close, then, you know, they take it. Oh, I'm getting shot at. So I see two. Wait, I see it. It's right there. Oh, what am I doing? Put that suppressor back on that. I might not, you know, I might accidentally lose it. Then I won't have a suppressor. So that's the other one that I started out towards. So I guess the one I was looking at is that one right there. So I need to... Oh my goodness, I'm telling you. These spawns of these things. You don't see no dead friends. They're just taking a nap. Oh, there's another one up there. Honestly, looking at this like this kind of makes me think of uh, Skyrim. Um, the... Oh, crap, I forgot what they were called. The Greybeards. Yeah, the Greybeards. I actually almost named this character uh, Greybeard. But then I was like, yeah, that's too long to put in the title. <laughs> so what would be my best route? Should I go around? Or should I go down? 
If I go down, I may have a chance to find something in there. Then I can just go up through there. Looks like it would take me to it. Or I can just go around, which is... Well, seems pretty straight. Like, I don't have to go down and risk the chance of falling and breaking my ankle. I am an old man, after all. A healthy, strong old man. Who fell from a helicopter. Uh, oh, this is a road. I don't know, I may... In reality, I may want to just go down. I would hate... Well, I mean, I could always hide from a vehicle if one pulled up. Speaking of which, I hear one behind me. Come on now. <laughs> My character's eyes look like he's just trying to fall asleep. Oh god, don't run me over. Admittedly, I probably could have taken them out if I wanted to. Alright, let's go. I can see the amber. Yeah, it's calling my name. So... If I continue on this route, I could probably get over there and then go across. Or I can probably go down this path. And I'm not sure if that will lead me directly to it, but it should. Yeah, I'm gonna get off the road and head that way. Ugh. Oh my god. As soon as I do that, I fall and break my ankle. Ugh. <laughs> I do think they need to fix the, uh, <laughs> the slide animation. I mean, I don't think the animation itself needs to be worked. I mean, maybe a little bit. It needs to be tweaked. But I mean, like, how often your character just falls down. I mean, there's times where my character just falls and slides on something like this. Like, you shouldn't even be sliding on this. You know, since I'm here, I could go ahead and check this place, but... This video is already seeming like it's in the 40-minute range. I don't want it to go on any longer. I don't have a canteen equipped, so... Can't get any water. But at least I know there's a stream here. I think this is the route that I was thinking of. It's not exactly a common path, but I will take it. I'm gonna pull my pistol out so I don't have to climb up holding a 416. Can kind of swing my arms around. Okay, so now, oh, excuse me. So now, I think. Yeah, good thing I got off the road. I think there's a vehicle coming around. Yeah. But yeah, good thing I got off the road. Another helicopter? Come on, guys. Will y'all just freaking stay at the place I go to? You're lucky I'm not on my main character. I'll kill you. Kill you good. Okay. Uh, okay, it's right there. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, the smoke... <laughs> the smokes always seem a bit closer like they... Than they actually are, it seems. Oh, I don't know. This is a good idea. Oh, especially with wolves down there. It's almost like I'm sliding into the wolf's den. Oh, God, I... I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm just fine. Yeah, I'm fixing to get there. Come on, buddy. Going to get my pistol back out. I'm not sure which one is more realistic. Going up a hill like this, holding your primary or holstering it. But since I can't actually fully holster my weapons, I feel like this is the closest thing. 
I really hope Ubisoft actually adds that feature in the game. Like they do in Wildlands, where you can holster your weapons completely. I think that'd be pretty cool. I was actually really upset when I first played the game and I couldn't do it. But whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Oh. Home sweet home. For the night, anyways. Let me look at my view. Yeah, I know exactly what that place is. I've been there multiple times. Uh, so there's a campsite over there. Campsite, campsite, campsite. I honestly don't think I'm going up there at all <laughs> with this character or any character in this series. Uh, I've been up there before with my main character, and I mean, I don't know. It just seems like there's no point to go up there. But, yeah, so... I think it looks good. I don't see any enemies actually nearby. Those ghosts was... I mean, not ghosts. I'm a ghost. They're wolves. They're ex-ghosts. They're, uh... They suck. That's what they are. They suck. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down on my camp. And, uh... <coughs> eat some of that meat that I've collected. Now, normally, when I'm at a camp, I would have my character eat and drink water. And even though if my character does have a canteen, because technically you have the canteen, um, I'm acting like, you know, oh, I haven't filled it up with water yet. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, yes, I already know about the stuff. Get out of my face. Do you know who you're talking to? We'll go ahead and get him to actually eat. Yeah, go ahead and eat. Eat some of that meat. By the way, you have some blood on your hands, guys. You might wanna, I wanna wash your hands in that stream. Okay, he ate. Uh, I don't have a drone, and I'm not gonna get a drone because I'm never going to Aeron, so that doesn't even matter. Uh, I can go ahead and stretch. Did have a, did crash, rode a motorcycle, which that's always fun, and killed a couple of people, and then slid down a hill and walked up a mountain. Uh, actually, is there a way you can just select nothing? Because I don't want to spawn in a vehicle, so how do you select nothing? Is there a way to select nothing? Because I can select it. I can select the vehicle, but I can't select nothing. So how do you how do you do that? You just uh is there a button you can push or something? I I, I have no idea. I'm just gonna spawn in the the dirt bike. I'm not actually gonna use it. But it's you know, it's small. So it's not like spawning in a big ass helicopter. But I'm gonna spawn that in. Because I can't actually pick nothing. Which is fine, whatever. Uh, I will probably mess with the shop in the next video. Craft, do I have anything to craft? I mean, these freaking tutorials. Tutorials. Uh, food is actually what I'm more interested in. Damage resistance, stamina cost, protein basics. As you consume to gain a temporary buff for 10 minutes, oh wow. Damage resistance for 10 minutes, that's pretty... Insane. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make one of these bad boys I can eat on my travels. Um, I'm not actually going to make any of this stuff right now. Because I feel like, you know, getting materials from drones and stuff, you know, you could use that in reality to actually craft this stuff. But I'm not going to right now. And now I'm going to... Check my pistol. <laughs> Which honestly, I should have probably checked my pistol last because I do like the accuracy uh, bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pistol looks great. Now I'm gonna write a bunch of stuff in my diary. So I saw some wolves down the road. They did not look too happy. The end. Alright. So, I guess that's it. 
Uh, of course, when I break camp, that is going to be my character sleeping. But I'm not going to actually break camp until the next episode. So the next episode should be, you know, the, the time fast forwarding and my character waking up. So my character should be good. He's fixing to get some rest. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Um, this is the first video of the series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have no idea <laughs> what y'all are going to think about this. This is new to me. I just hope y'all enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. This is the first episode, and I, I'm already enjoying doing it. It feels it really feels you know like a survival game. So, Anyways, let me know down in the comment section. Click the like button to let me know that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you know, rules about this and that, let me know. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Subscribe if you like the content. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment stuff down in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.